for many years. Now, Russia is not only a, a economic power, a rising economic star, it's also a country which is rich in culture. And for this reason, I'm happy to hand over our Crystal Award uh, 2007 to a very famous young Russian artist. Uh, I have to tell you a little bit about this uh, Crystal Award. Um, uh, many years ago, our friend, our late friend, Yehudi Menuhin, uh, who was a regular, and some may remember, um, he said, Klaus, uh, there are people in the world uh, who are not business leaders and political leaders, but there are uh, also cultural leaders who believe very much into this notion of improving the state of the world. So what you should do, you should honor such artists and that's what we are doing. So I'm very pleased to confer this year's Crystal Award to a 30-year-old virtuoso and one of the world's most exciting artists, Maxim Wengerov from Russia. The brilliance of um, Maxim Wengerov was evident at a very young age. He started playing the violin at the age of four and played his first concert at the age of five. He has won numerous prestigious artistic awards and distinctions, starting at the age of only 10 years old, when he won the junior competition in Poland, which later paved the way for increased concert, concert engage, engagements throughout the world. His international fame was given an even greater boost when he won the Karl Flesh International Violin Competition in London in 89. In 2002, at the age of 28, Maxim was given the prestigious award of the Artist of the Year by the Gramophone. In 97, you were actually, Maxim Wengerov, you were the first classical musician to be appointed envoy for music by UNICEF, a post you still hold. Now, you are not only a great musician, you are committed to improving the state of the world in a very practical way. You have been engaged in many projects from war refugees to children suffering from AIDS, and with each project you bring the power of your music to help, to comfort and increase the potential of the children. You also regularly give benefit concerts for many worthy causes. So you performed for child soldiers in Uganda, for disadvantaged children in Harlem, for drug addict children in Thailand, for children on both sides of the ethnic barrier in Kosovo. Another passion of yours, musical and personal life, is your involvement in general with young people. You teach master classes, to aspiring musicians, and I could go on and on. So in recognition of, his, of your creative and leadership achievement, it is with great pride that we confer to Maxim Wengerov this year's Crystal Award. Maxim Wengerov, this Crystal Award is also coming from our heart, even if I do not play the violin. Please join me here. Thank you so much for this uh, top honor.
Thank you for the committee that has chosen me, chosen me this year. I will have uh, some trouble traveling with this over the borders and securities. <laughs> but uh, this is uh, really great responsibility for me. Uh, you know, I have been blessed to be born in Russia, receive my greatest formal education, to have my wonderful teachers, parents, and all my friends that have supported me. Uh, I've been in Russia for uh, 12 years, then I came to the uh, West, and I could also profit from the wonderful education in London, in Amsterdam, in Israel, in United States. So that have helped me to shape my character, my personality, and have helped me to become a musician. Music is healing, is a power that we very often underestimate. Since uh, very famous Greek ancient times, music was prescribed to people. And uh, my mother has been very often proving me that the power of music is doing wonders. She has rescued many children from the streets. She has created her own orphanage. And I have witnessed from my very, very early years what music can actually do. And uh, that's why I'm really thankful for this award. It's a great credit to me. Uh, and um, it is a great responsibility. And I will make my best in making my modest investment into the art in the world. Thank you very much. The meeting is adjourned and we will assemble again for the closing sessions this afternoon.